said uh, charging foul, didn't get it. Well, the South calls a timeout, a great timeout, I think, for either team. They're really looking like they're starting to drag out there. They've taken their toll with only five minutes left. They're starting to slow things down just a little bit. If American can do two things, hit a couple three-pointers, and somehow find a way to keep uh, Hurd or Simmons away from the ball, they may get back in this. They're only down by 15 with five minutes left, and if they can score being in the bonus, they may be able to get in there with the clock stopped a lot. Later tonight, following basketball, the Sunday night movie is Lord Jim with Peter O'Toole. Join us here on Channel 3, 53 for that. Following our basketball tonight. You know, we were talking about stopping Simmons and Hurt. I think that's a lot like uh, trying to keep the sun from rising. The way LaSalle's been playing, they're just over, too overwhelming here for American. I mean, American's hanging in there. They're doing a great job. They've, they've kept the spread here in the second half. They've been basically even here in the second half. But I just don't think you're going to be able to sh shut down Hurd or Simmons. Well, we have 507 remaining, 93 to 78. Simmons over it in for three. Top of the key, can't get it to go. Draper with the rebound. the basket and the foul. By looking at that crowd, you'd never know that they were down by 13 points. They're really back in this ball game now. They've really cut the deficit here in the second half as you see West take it up hard. Nice move all the way to the hoop. Fans coming to a live. They can cut the lead to 12. I think the biggest difference here is not so much that they're keeping LaSalle down, but they're starting to hit the shots that they were missing in the first half. You see the coach there, Speedy Morris, he's come out of his jacket, his tie, he has to sit down all ball game. He's one of those coaches that has to be up. Is that why they call him Speedy? Because he's the fastest undresser? It's a 12-point ball game, 444 remaining. Simmons with the ball. Overton as the crowd comes alive. Simmons is going to drive. Stop and let it go. Rebound AU. Tillman looking for some help. Home. And just like that, American University has cut this down to a 10-point ball game. LaSalle only has one timeout left, so they're going to have to be very careful where they take it. It's a 10-point ball game with 4.05 remaining. Man to man for American now, man for man. This is where the home court really comes into play. You have everyone in this arena on their feet. Energy level, the enthusiasm is very high right now, and it's very contagious, and I'm sure the Eagles are going to take full advantage of it. Call with the foul. It looked almost clean. I think he got him a little up with the body. We'll take another look and see exactly. No, I guess he got him on the wrist. He slapped him right across the wrist. Didn't get much of the ball at all. But you have to hang up there and do those kind of things if you're going to keep him from scoring. Dale Spear comes in. Sumner goes out. And that'll put Hurd at the line. Shooting a pair. Makes them both cool freshmen from LaSalle. Triple team on Tillman. Somebody's got to be open. Spear looked for three. The fans stood up. He didn't take it. 
Holmes wants it underneath. He stops it to short. They call Draper with the foul. I think Americans are really going to have to stick with the outside shots. They haven't been that successful getting down low, and LaSalle is really posted up solid down low. They're keeping him out of the paint. Sumner comes in. Spears goes out. 3-34. It's 95-83. to 12-point ball game. LaSalle's ball. This one isn't over yet, fans. Johnson in the ball game for LaSalle. West guarding him. Overton. To Simmons. He's got Sumner on him. He goes up and he gets it off the glass. Simmons put that ball up and over three American defenders. Everyone left the floor at once and he still had it up over their hands. Out of bounds to LaSalle. LaSalle on the verge of trying to put this one away here. Just under three minutes remaining in the ball game. A little duel going out of the backcourt here as Overton tries to bring it across and he won that round. Tillman all over Overton, now West all over Johnson. They call West with the foul. Overton trying to get the offense going. Over to Hurd. LaSalle trying to take some time off the clock. It's down to 219. Shot clock down to 18. LaSalle's not going to take any bad shots. Conlon gets, gets the extra bounce. LaSalle's definitely into a ball control style offense now. They're going to work as much time as they can off the clock with each possession. Underneath to Sumner. The Eagles want a timeout. They will now have one left. 153 remaining. It's a 14-point ball game. American doing a wonderful job climbing back into this ball game. They've been uh, putting in the buckets they need to put in, and they're playing pretty tough defense. you got to give them a lot of credit. You're right, Matt. I mean, it would have been easy down by 20, 24 points. Second game in a row here at home to give up, feel a little tired. They haven't given up at all. Uh, Tap Scott's done a great job uh, substituting, keeping them fresh. And uh, even though LaSalle likes to run, American is almost playing their kind of ball game and hanging right with them. They really are. That's a good sign of a well-coached ball club is the discipline they show to hang in there and keep working throughout the whole ball game. Next Sunday on Channel 53, 7.30, Tennessee Tech at Moorhead State and 9 o'clock, UT Chattanooga at Marshall. That's next Sunday. Right here on Channel 53. 1.53 remaining. One timeout left for both teams. AU's got to find a way to score with the clock stopped since they're in the bonus if they can. And possibly a couple three-pointers. Simmons can bring it up court for him as well. Spears playing for the foul. He got all over Johnson. So Johnson will go to the line. They're both in the bonus now. He'll shoot one and one. Johnson's not that bad of a choice to have in the line. He only shoots 60%. And Brock Wardman comes in. He's been out quite a bit the second half. He'll be fresh. I'm sure he'll be ready to run this ball club. He makes the first one. 100 for LaSalle. 
85 for American. He makes them both. Wardman can shoot from three. Can't get that one to go. Holmes with the rebound. Up, can't get it to go. Draper goes up. That's rejected by Simmons. And it's stolen away. Wortman almost came around and got, got that rebound to save the whole possession, but it wasn't meant to be. Foul will be on Spears. At this point in the ball game, you got to really just hustle and try to get the steal or hope they don't make their free throws. Or, or here you see uh, Spears, he'll go for it. Reaches in, just gets a little of his body. Wardman at the line, makes the first one. Spears, the senior, really taking charge here in the late going for American. He's going to not waste any time trying to put it to LaSalle. And he makes them both. It's 103 to 85, 120 remaining in the ballgame. Draper, nice move, gets the basket and the foul. Draper, a nice strong move up to the hoop, took, taking on two defenders. Sumner and West come in, Spears, and Wardman go out, and Draper has a chance to complete a three-point play. He misses Simmons with the rebound. Sumner fouls Simmons. on the floor, Simmons is, is one of the ones you'd want to follow. He shoots 72% from the free throw line, but that's one of the, the least averages of the men that are on the floor now. So Lionel goes to the line shooting one and one. He misses, rebounded Draper. Out of bounds to American. Bruderdorf in the game now for AU, number 11. One minute in the ball game. Partially blocked, Draper goes up, short, gets his own rebound, puts it back up. Simmons did a great job to get into Spears' face to try to put up that three-pointer. I think he just got enough on it so he didn't fall. So it's 103 to 89, 53 seconds left. No more timeouts for the Eagles. Coming February the 18th and 19th, Atlantic States Swim Championships, live from Mary Washington College. And uh, that should be a lot of fun. It really will. If you like swimming, it's going to be a great meet. It's the uh, last meet before the Division Three Nationals for all of the teams involved. And I'm sure they're going to be wanting to have their season best at that meet. And Channel 53 will be pleased to bring that to you, as well as next Thursday we'll be down. We will do the Catholic University at Mary Washington. Division three basketball game. Right now, it looks like LaSalle's going up their record to 18 and four. They're up 103 to 89 with only 53 seconds left. It's but American never gave up. Yeah, you can really see the character of American. They're hanging in there. This game was pretty much over five, 10 minutes into the first half, but American has been hanging tough. 
I think Tapscott knows how this game can help him when it comes tournament time in Hampton against the CAA. Playing against a team that is ranked 22 by the Sporting News or 25 by USA Today, it can help build character and help get his team ready for a tournament. And the only way your program is ever going to advance and get better is if you take on a couple a couple big squads each year and you, you know, you're not going to get any better unless you play the boys that are better than you are. That's right. 104-89, 47 seconds remaining in the ballgame. And LaSalle doing very well from the free throw line. Working inside of Draper, turn around, can't go. Holmes, powerful rebound off the glass. down to 33 seconds and Johnson will go back to the line. Johnson's really done a great job all year for LaSalle. Six men off the bench. Averages 11.8 points per game. Four rebounds per game. When he was out for that one game with a cast on his foot, they really missed him. Coach Morris is going to send in a wholesale exchange here. He's going to give uh, the subs a chance to come and play in front of this nice crowd. He's going to give his his regular players a nice rest. You know, LaSalle brought a lot of fans down from the Philadelphia area for today's game. Very vocal. It's always easy to find fans when you're ranked 25th in the country. They seem to come out of the woodwork. Mass substitution going on now for both squads. As you see, Ed Tapscott shaking hands with his starter, saying, hey, guys, you did what you could. Wartman will take one. Can't get it to drop. And LaSalle's subs love to run as well as their starters do. They've probably been itching to get out of this court and score some points here. Wartman shooting from three. Can't get it to go. Spears reached in with the foul. Sam Rines will go to the line. LaSalle shooting very well today from the charity line. They average right around 70% as a team coming in, so something expected. He makes them both. 111 to 91. 10 seconds remaining in the ball game. Tillman couldn't get it to drop. And that's the ball game. So the LaSalle Explorers come in to Bender Arena and give Ed Tapscott and the American Eagles one of their very few losses in this arena. American University drops to 12 and 7, and LaSalle improves to 18 and 4. And I think besides finding out Simmons was a good ball, ball player for LaSalle, we saw that they had a few others too. Jack Kerr did a great job for LaSalle, and uh, you know, the whole squad, as we said, coming in, they have lots of depth, and they all played very well. The only thing that really surprised me about LaSalle is they only give up right around 70 points a ball game, and American did a great job scoring 91 against them. So even though American got uh, crushed here by 20, they really played a, a pretty good ball game against the 25th-ranked team. They sure did, and once again, the final score is 111 for the LaSalle Explorers, 91 for American University. On behalf of Channel 53 and the production staff, we hope you enjoyed this ball game. We invite you to join us again next week for more college action. Matt, enjoy working with you once again. Thank you very much. So long, everybody. Good night.